Good afternoon and welcome back to my Landlord Lowdown. Sorry we've not done many this year, but I've uh, been very, very busy um, for the first month. Certainly February is still looking very busy now, which is great, particularly on the rental side of things. Interest rates gone up again today. We'll do an article on that. That'll come out from Andrew. But um, that kind of tied in today. We uh, met up with a, uh, a chap who was looking to add to his portfolio. Now, when I spoke to him in the week, um, he suggested that he'd already got a buy select mortgage set up. And it kind of got me thinking, well, we all know if we've got a 15 or 20% deposit as an investor, um, existing landlords, 15 or 20% deposit, you can pretty much, I suppose, subject to certain criteria, but pretty much walk down the high street, go to a mortgage broker or go to a bank and you'll get the funding to do your buy to let. And you'll all look for a reasonably good rate. Um, question I'd throw out, and I think you need to ask yourself this, do you know exactly what your monthly payments for your buy to let mortgage are? And that could be on one property, five properties, 10 properties, you really should know that. And if you don't know all of them, which, okay, I probably won't remember all of mine either as well, but have you got them written down? Have you got them noted? More importantly, what kind of, um, sort of mortgage are you on? Is it repayment or is it just literally sort of interest only? Have you got it set up as a limited company? Um, but I think also it's the knowledge around what you've got. Again, if you've got a three or a five year fixed deal, is it fixed or is it a discounted? What happens at the end of that rate? I think it's quite scary the amount of people I speak to that actually go, oh yeah, I can't remember now, um, because they see it as insignificant. And I suppose are we guilty of that as agents? Yes, we love looking after you, we look after your property, we make sure you get the rent on time and you can pay your mortgage and we will tick along nicely. But let's start addressing things like making the money work harder. Now, again, the chap I spoke to this week, um, with the setup in their family, they've got a number of family members, they've got some inheritance money, um, looking to sort of, I suppose, really put the money, make the investment now for the children later on. So, I put them across to our very good friends over at Fingerprint Financial. Um, Ben's team now on the mortgage side can always find the best buy to let deals without a doubt, and I'll say that hand on heart. Um, but just as importantly, Ben's business partner, Paul, um, he also looks at the financial planning. And that's kind of what I want to come on to today. And again, the chap I met today, Chris, really nice guy, and he agreed with me. He'd only ever really looked for a buy-to-let mortgage, think he'd just get buy-to-let, and at some point it'll pay itself off, and he'll earn some money every month. Well, let's make that work harder. So he's got a meeting this coming week with Paul from Fingerprint. And it's more about how do you structure it? What's the best way forward? What's the best way to earn that bit of extra money every month? Um, looking at sort of future inheritance taxes. It's just something I, I, I firmly believe there's a lot of people out there that haven't really considered that. Um, we're all guilty of it. Um, it's something I want to offer to anybody out there that if you've got buy to let mortgages, just talk to me. Just give me a call, drop me a message. I'll put you in touch with the right people. Um, that initial bit of advice is certainly free. Um, if you do want planning later on, obviously there will be cost involved, but it's all about making your money work harder for you. Yes, we all want to, want to retire early, we all want that extra car or be mortgage free on our own home, but is your investment vehicle actually doing what it's meant to do? So don't forget, if you just walk down the high street and look to buy to let mortgages, great, everybody can do that. But have you actually thought about how it's gonna work for you? When is it gonna be paid off? How can you pass it to the children or your spouse or whatever? It's something I think we need to consider seriously. So give me a call as always on 01233 501601 or simply just drop me a message on here or you can email me which is roy at evolutionproperties.co.uk and we'll see you next week. Take care, bye bye. Thank you.